I'm here to talk about the loss of my son. On July 30th, 2010, had he been wearing his seatbelt, I wouldn't be standing here today because he would be with me. My son worked all day that day with his brother. Me and his, I took his brother to, to a baseball game that night. My son went to his girlfriend's and then decided to go to the mall. He left that mall. He got into his car. He told his girlfriend to put her seatbelt on. And she thought he did the same. But he didn't. Not five minutes later, he was on a gravel road going 30 miles an hour. He lost control. And he hit a tree. He was thrown from his vehicle. And he never made it to a hospital. His girlfriend walked away with bruises. My son was an experienced driver. He had only had his license for three months at the time of the accident. So when he overcorrected, there's nothing he could do. I can remember getting to the hospital, asking to see my son, and them telling me that a doctor would be out to talk to me. They took me into a room, and as the rest of my family came, I can't remember the doctor coming in and telling us my son was gone. I had collapsed. Luckily, there was a couple people standing on the side of me to catch me. They put me in a wheelchair, and they took us back to see my son, my husband, and I. the last time I got to see him, get to hold him. We sat back there with him. Until he turned cold. And no mother should ever have to experience that. But once he turned cold, I didn't want to remember him that way. It's very important to wear your seatbelt at all times because my son would still be here today with us. Our family has lost so much. My son wanted to be a teacher, and I believe now that he's teaching through me. He may not be here standing with me, but he's here with me, and he gives me the strength to get out of bed every day and to continue to tell his story so that a parent and children don't have to be in this situation. Remember my son's name, remember our story, and remember the most important thing, that he was only going 30 when that accident happened. Because I never imagined that I'd lose my son in a car accident only going 30. But I did. So never forget that seatbelts will save your life.